Hello everyone, my name is Steve Samuel and today I'd like to show you a nice little technique that I've put together for when you're using the classic sketcher and you want to do a body of rev and you want to dimension it with PMI, you can do it in this nice little way. You can inherit your dimensions from a sketch, but when you're doing something that's revolved, you'll want to make sure that the dimensions are actual diameters rather than half radiuses. So here's what you can do. You can go to the mirror command and you can grab the dimensions or you could grab the entities um, that you will be revolving and you can mirror them about the uh, center line. Okay, so I did, did that. And now you can filter for curves, grab all the curves and you can uh, convert to reference. So now that you have that, you can put dimensions in as diameters. So here's a cylindrical dimension that we want for this. The shaft of this wants to be two inches. The uh, top of this wants to be seven inches. Okay, and then you can put in all the other dimensions that you might um, that are not cylindrical like this one, like this angle. Let's make it an obtuse angle. There we go. Okay, you get the idea. So now that I have the sketch, I want to make sure that these dimensions are inherited to the PMI. So uh, what I do next, um, let's just change the filter here. What I do next is I select the dimensions so I can filter for dimensions again, select them, click, and say display as PMI. So now, when I do the revolve, there's the revolve, I'll do connected curves here, I'll rotate about this center line, and there you have it. I've got my um, body of rev dimensioned uh, with PMI, um, inherited from the sketch, and I've got the actual diameters dimensioned as diameter. So it's a little trick. It'll save you some time. Um, it's for a model-based definition. Again, my name is Steve Samuel. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And please hit our website where there's many more resources and we can do a bunch of training for you if that's what you need. Thank you very much.